Every single trader must watch this video. The rules that I'm gonna explain is vital for you to understand if you wanna be a consistently profitable trader. In fact, if you don't listen to any of this advice, it's gonna be very difficult for you to become the trader you aspire to be, whether it be six, seven, eight figures. If you don't listen to these rules properly, you're gonna struggle severely and you're gonna make it very hard on yourself. So the first rule set is becoming a trader which can repeat your process. Repeatability is the most important aspect to any aspiring trader. Now, what do I mean by repeatability? It's going into the market every single day and repeating your trading process, repeating you following your plan, repeating that you're controlling your emotions, repeating your edge and acting upon that every single day day after day, month after month, year after year. Repeatability is the number one most important concept that any trader looking to be consistent in the long run must implement. So if you wanna be a consistent trader, you have to understand the definition of what consistency means. Consistency is the quality of always behaving or performing in a similar way or of always happening in a similar way. So what this tells me is if you want to be consistent, you must repeat your process in a very similar approach. Think about this for a second. If you're watching this video, be honest with yourself. How many of you made good money with crypto, good money with GameStop, AMC, any of the blockchain names, anything that was really hyped up and you made a very large amount of money in a very short amount of time. How many of you can relate to that? Now, I can guarantee you more than half of those people, in fact, probably more than three quarters of those people are struggling traders at this moment and they're trying to make back the gains that they lost from that fat pile of cash that they got from getting rich quick. Majority of these traders are not really traders. They are struggling right now because they got lucky and they got very lucky and they got very cocky because they thought they can repeat that and get rich quick many other times in the future and that's not the case. These traders that made good gains with GameStop, AMC, any crypto think they can grow their account just as fast as they got that large gain and that's not the case. That's the wrong mindset. The quicker you're gonna come into the market is the faster that you're gonna leave it. And the faster that you leave the market means you probably have not a lot of money left, you're feeling hopeless, you're feeling lost. The worst thing that any beginner trader could do is make a large amount of money in a short amount of time because that's gonna make their ego become through the roof and they're gonna think they're the best trader that they could do it every single day and it's not a once in a blue moon type of thing that they feel like the greatest and their ego is going to do the trading and they will lose it all if they don't have a process that they can repeat day after day. You don't see GameStop, AMC, crypto running up thousands of percent every single day. It is once in a blue moon. Let me ask you, would you rather be able to have the knowledge that you can climb up a mountain, know where the obstacles are, know which route you have to go to that's going to get you to the top? Or would you rather let somebody place yourself at the top with no knowledge of how you got there, no knowledge of where you even are, and no knowledge of how to get down or keep climbing higher to new levels? And a lot of these traders that made good gains fast got placed at the top with no knowledge of how to make money in the stock market consistently. Now let's create a scoreboard for trading. 100 means that we are making a lot of money from the market and zero means we're a new trader that's looking to develop our edge or build a system that's gonna compound us money and get us to 100. Well, in the stock market, it's harder to go from zero to 10, meaning someone who's new that needs to develop their edge and build a system that will get them to 100. It's harder to go from zero to 10 than it is from 10 to 100. And these traders got placed at 100 and there's no way higher than 100 for them to only come down and start over as a new trader that has no knowledge of how to consistently take money out of the markets day after day, month after month. Every single profitable trader that I know, including myself, can repeat their trades win after win, loss after loss, day after day, week after week, month after month. Repeatability is the name for consistency. Every trade that I take essentially stems from the same system or same edge. Every single trade that I click that buy or sell button from 
comes from the same foundation of setups that I look out for. I simply watch the market, I wait to see a setup, I wait for opportunity to arise, and I take that setup. I don't hesitate, I don't think, and I don't care if I lose on that setup. It's a setup that works out for me, so it's a no-brainer to when I see that setup, I take it and act accordingly. That is the definition of repeatability in your trading system, and that is key for success. So if you're watching this video right now, your main objective as a trader is to build the system, develop an edge that you can repeat daily. It's not getting lucky on one trade and bragging to me, bragging to your friends that you're a really good trader, that you just made 500 bucks, more than your regular day job, and that you're the best trader in the world. You always gotta think about your next couple trades. You're just as good as the next trade that you put on. It's more impressive to me if you can make $200, $500, consistently on a daily basis where your losses are much smaller than your wins, than it is someone making $1,000 coming to me saying that you've got it all figured out, but then on the next trade, you lose it all and then some, and you're back to square one without an edge of something that you can repeat daily. Remember, consistency is the name of the game, not making a quick buck and not being able to do it over and over again. Getting lucky on one or two trades and making a lot of money fast will never be rewarding as it will be of having losses very small where your winners take care of those losses and the gains compound where you can grow your account consistently and your p l curve looks like it's slowly uptrending and the dips are very shallow. Now, Carmine, what are things that have to be repeated daily? Now, the number one most important aspect is risk management. Day after day, plan after plan, trade after trade, you must, must implement proper risk management. You cannot avoid losses in the market. It's impossible for you to take a trade that does not work out for you. The market's not always gonna agree with your analysis. The market's not always gonna do what you want. So risk management is the number one most important thing that you have to repeat daily. If you let your emotions do the trading, you are gonna have very large losses that are uncontrollable. Oh, should I sell here? I'm only down $100. Well, if that's what your risk parameters were and your risk management plan called for, then you must sell when you're down $100. Because what's stopping that $100 loss to implement a $1,000 loss and now you just blew up your large account? I'll have some traders message me on Instagram, link in the description below, and I answer every single one of my messages. And I recently had someone come up to me and said, I just took a really large loss it destroyed my trading account, what should I do from here? And the number one thing I have to say to that is there should be no such thing as a large loss in your trading vocabulary. Every loss is planned and every loss is managed before you click that buy button and open up a position. If you have a large loss, it means you're trading with too much capital, you don't have an edge, or you're not implementing a valid stop loss which invalidates your trading thesis. You're letting your emotions do the trading and you're not getting out of that position before it becomes really bad and then it becomes into a large loss. You will never sustain in your trading if your losses are two, three, four times than your average winners. You have to flip that and make sure your wins are two, three, four times your average losses. For example, this is a calendar from a member in the invested trade community. His losses are much smaller than his wins and you have to position yourself to make it that when you win, it will take care of your losing trades. Now the second thing you must repeat on a daily basis is your reason why you enter that setup. Why are you clicking the buy or sell button? What's your reasoning for taking this trade? What is the confirmation? What's telling me I should get in this position at this moment? If you can find an edge or build a system around that, that's gonna give you similar, it's not gonna be identical to the exact match every single trade because every day will be different, but your reason why must be strong and they must be similar that you can repeat it and find that opportunity, maybe not on a daily basis, but on a weekly or monthly basis. You have to have a strong reason for entering. A lot of people ha don't have strong reasons for entering. They don't have any trading thesis. It could be as simple as other people are gonna buy after you buy, and it could be as simple as other people are gonna sell after you sell. 
You have to have a strong reason why, and you must know your confirmation for that setup. Confirmations repeat themselves on a daily basis in the market. The market moves truly because buyers and sellers. So if you can follow their footsteps, you're going to be able to find similar confirmations and similar theses for you to open up a position that has a high odd of working in your favor while you're keeping your losses small and following a valid, proper risk management plan. You also have to calculate your trades before you enter them so that when you're in the position, there's not going to be any surprises that are going to throw you off guard. You accept the worst case scenario before you enter and anything better than the worst will be a win in my book. And the worst case scenario is going to be your max loss, which is known before you enter that trade. So if you gain anything other than your max loss, you got to look at it as a win, especially if you learn and take something out of the market. There was a point last week where I took three days in a row that were red days. I kept losing trades. The market just was not agreeing. I was mistiming with my entries and they were all based off of the same trades. I did the same entries, the same confirmations, the same reason why I entered. Now my losses were small. I always keep them manageable. But the point here was I did not get frustrated. I did not give up. I did not try to tweak my trading system. Instead, I just kept pushing along and following my edge because that's what works for me. You're going to have days where you lose. You're going to have weeks where you lose. But if you have a system or an edge that has a solid foundation that has worked out for you, there's no reason to fix it or change it or deviate away from it after you lose one, two or three times. I kept trading the way I normally trade. I reviewed those trades. And then the next day, which was a Thursday, I traded the same exact setup that I took those three other days. And that trade on Thursday was a really large win. And that one winning trade removed all those losses from the three previous days. It's not questioning your system. It's not questioning your ability. It's not saying, oh, should I keep trading? Should I give up? Should I take a day off? It's simply having confidence in yourself, having confidence in your system, keep pushing along and going into the market every single day with your solid system and risk management parameters that you are repeating. If I changed something there, I probably would not have taken that setup on Thursday and I probably would not have won and I probably would have lost. Let's say Kobe Bryant gets to the free throw line. He's cold. He's missing two, three, four shots in a row. Well, he's not going to switch up his form. He's going to keep shooting the way he shoots because that's got him to the position he's at. And once he gets hot, he knows he's hot and he's going to go in full force and make those buckets and score the points. You don't switch something up if it's not working out for you one or two times. Yeah, maybe after a month it's not working out for you or a few weeks, then yeah, you have to switch it up. But having a loss or two losses in a row doesn't mean you got to switch it up and switch up your form. Now, the second step to these rules is scalability. We have repeatability and then we have scalability. You cannot scale your trading business if you don't have the repeatability aspect. Repeatability comes first. And that's your number one objective is repeating your process on a daily basis. Once you are consistent and you can prove to not only yourself, but your trading account that you can repeat your process day after day and you're making consistent money, whether it be 50 bucks, whether it be 200 bucks, it doesn't matter to me. Consistency is more important than the profits that you're taking out from the market. Once you are consistent and repeating your process, then you can look to scale up. It's not working harder, it's working smarter. You gotta prove you can repeat your process and then for you to make more money, let's just say you're making 50 bucks a day or 200 bucks a day. Well, if you wanna make two grand a day or five grand a day, you don't have to work harder. All you simply have to do is add another zero or a couple contracts to your position size and that's how you scale up your process that was once repeatable. Let's say you own a pizzeria and your pizza is terrible. Let's just say you put pineapple on that pizza, which is nasty, but your business is really slow. You don't have a lot of customers. You're not selling a lot of pizza and your business is struggling. Well, from a business perspective, you're not going to go open up another pizzeria in the next town. If you haven't figured out that pizzeria that you first opened up, that's struggling. You're not going to go open up a second location if the first one can't prove to make money. Proving your business works, proving you can make money, proving you can become consistent and you can repeat that process is the foundation 
to scaling the business and making more money, whether it be a pizzeria or whether it be your trading account. The best part about trading, in my opinion, is how scalable it is. You're not gonna find another business that's as scalable as trading is. Once you can prove that you can make money with small size, all you have to do is increase your position size to extract more profits out of the market. It's not focusing on more stocks. It's not buying more options. It's not getting into different instruments. It's simply buying more contracts with a system that proves to you that it does work in the long run. These are the two golden rules that every trader must implement if you want to become a profitable trader in the long run. Focus on repeating your process day after day. And repeating could also mean journaling your trades, focusing on psychology. Picture Kobe in the gym every single day. He was repeating his process and that made him the greatest player, one of the greatest players of all time. As a trader, you have to have that same Mamba mentality, that same mindset, and doing the things necessary on the screens or even off the screens to become a better trader. And once you got that packed down, then it's scalability, then it's getting more money, then it's consistency, and then it's making the profits and coming the trader that you really aspire to be. And that's pretty much all I have to say. If you gained any value out of this, I would appreciate it if you could drop a like on this video, subscribe to my channel. I would really, really appreciate that. And also comment if you have any questions. I'll go through the comments 